In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create this hover card effect in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Acquia Designs. Let's get started. We start off by drawing a rectangle and then we'll change the color to gray and then we'll round the corners of the rectangle. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type the content. We'll first start with the title and then once we are done with that we will type something for the description so with the title once we're done typing it we'll set the font and then we'll set the font size and then make sure it's properly positioned in the card once we're done with that we'll draw the arrow for the corner of the card So with the arrow, we'll draw that using the pen tool. Once we're done drawing that, we'll rename it and then move on to set the stroke width. And then we'll tilt it a bit and adjust the size of the arrow. So for the next step, we'll use the Iconify plugin to get an icon for our card. Now we're just going to increase the size of the icon. Once we're done with that, we'll change the color to dark green. If you are following this tutorial, you have to be a bit innovative and change it to whatever color you like. Once we're done with that, we duplicate the icon and then increase the size a little bit. So next thing we do is draw a rectangle over the shape and then round the corners and then move it to the back next we'll change the color of the duplicated icon we want it to have be some sort of like watermark so we'll make it we'll reduce opacity and increase the size a bit while making sure that it's not too visible then we'll change the color of the background to light green Okay, so because we want to add a description to the card, we reduce the title size and the icon size. Then we'll duplicate the title and reduce the size of the duplicate. Next, we'll use another plugin in Figma called Lorem Ipsum to fill out the placeholder for our description. Once we're done with that, we're going to create a duplicate of our background rectangle. And then we'll rename the duplicate to mask because we're going to use that to mask our vector in the background. Now we're going to add auto layout to the title, the text, and then the icon to make sure they're aligned in the card. Next, we're going to make some small adjustments by turning off the opacity of the icons and then moving the text up a bit, both the title and the description up a bit to make sure that it's well positioned in the card. Okay, so now we'll increase the opacity of the icon in the corner and then duplicate the entire card once we're done with that. This is to create another variant for our interactive component. Next, we're going to make some changes to the first card. We start off by reducing the opacity of the icon in the corner and removing it out of sight. And then as you can see, we drag the icon into the max group. The next thing we'll do is we'll set the opacity of the description to zero and then we'll increase the font size of the title. We'll set the opacity of the main icon to 100 and then increase the size of the main icon.
great once we're done with that we'll then drag the background to the bottom with that what we are actually dragging is the mask not the background itself next we'll create a component set out of the two cards and then switch to prototype and connect the two cards using the mouse leave mouse enter commands and then smart animate voila so that is it for the card hover effect now let's spice things up a bit we want it to be easy for us to reuse our components every time so what we're going to do is we're going to set component properties so the first we'll do is set a title property and then we'll set the description property once we're done with the properties for the first card we do the same for the second card but since we've already created the title and the description property we don't have to recreate them again so we just assign them to the individual values of the second card so now looking at the example of reusing our components we first type in the value in the title property and then we'll type our description in the description property And voila, there you have it. 